What I did for a way to turn this wind turbine into the wind is I took part of the rotor off my big wind turbine that was storm damaged and using that as a track. I should take that screw off there. And I have some little caster wheels on each side here that holds the weight to the turbine and on the center I have a lazy Susan bearing you can see that it's right in there so it'll pivot on that and I can just move this by hand and a little ribbon will show me the where the wind is coming from and the rotor is what I shown in that other video the last video making a little bit of noise I just have wheelbarrow bearings holding it And it seems to be working all right. I don't have my wind speed indicator right now. That'll be for another video. But I have it all set up for testing. Now what I'll do is I'll try some diverters coming in here. See what kind of difference that'll make. I'll probably be testing the RPMs with and without wind diverter so I can see the difference but it'll be a while I have this going just by itself here so I can test the startup speed I'll probably test it in different directions because there's buildings that are going to be blocking some of it the air that's hitting the top of the rotor is where the actions or where the power is going to be coming from all this bottom stuff down here is kind of causing a counteraction there with the wind cleaning a little bit and I'll just have to move this into the wind by hand don't have much of a wind right now Wind has picked up a little bit.
kind of fun watching this go around. It's not doing anything. There's no load on it. I'll have to make a break too for this so I can stop it. If I can just turn it out of the wind, that'll stop it too. Some viewers had suggested that I use different materials that are stronger and lighter weight and it will operate better in the low winds. Well, <laughs> I have very little resources to work with. That's why I do it like this. The rotor weighs about 100 pounds as it is right now. It costs probably around $100 to do that. The rest of the material, framing, and structure, stuff, I already have that, so I didn't have to put any more money into that. I repurpose everything that I can from other projects. And this is what I'm going to use for testing right now. And yes, I know if you put it vertical, that wind will come in from every direction. So you won't have to turn it into the wind. But this is just for testing. That's the purpose of this, to see exactly how I want to put wind deflectors in and how much difference they make. So I know them things, and I have other videos on my vertical axis wind turbines where they are vertical. This is a vertical axis wind turbine. I just got it on the side right now, and that's what I'm going to use for testing. That's why it's like that. And I'll just move it by hand into the wind for the test. And my thoughts were that it'd, it'd just be easier testing wind diverters when I have it horizontal. I'd be able to change the angles easier, and I'd just be doing one wind diverter at first to see a kind of difference that makes. And then maybe I'll go with some multiple wind diverters too to see what kind of changes they make. And then once I get everything set up, what I think is working the best, and I can always turn it vertical. So this is the situation I have right now and how far I am. So thanks for your time for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.